I'm Musa Kawila and welcome to the Pope of Pop Culture. If you're on your phone, I hope you're taking pictures of your celebrities, your influencers and pictures of me, okay? Chomi, we are evaging up. What's up, motherfuckers? Wank one, bitch. I am Musa Kawula. My friends call me Wendy Williams Line. And welcome to the Pope of Pop Culture. Bitch, there is shade, then there is cast on your vest. Because what the fuck just happened? Not me getting shocked when I am learning, when me and my friends is learning, that now he's recently teamed up with AKA. Dad AKA. Hmm. That AKA is Tim. It's real, real sad, isn't it? Hmm. So, but anyway, uh, you would know that uh, obviously AKA was like working with Fifth Season. I think they were like doing, they were like project managing for him and all of that stuff. So they were responsible for his bookings and all of that stuff, right? So they put him on if you want to use that language, right? So now, Kespania Vest doesn't go to the funeral bitch because he wanted to go to the America to go be a fan of the celebrities and whatnot. And just a month later, the AKA's body is not even cold bitch. There he is teaming up with fifth season and everybody is out getting him and getting him. And I'm just like on the fence because I'm thinking it's just business. What is Kespan Yovet supposed to do? It's just business. He needs to get his coin. And obviously, you know what? He was the last man standing, so... You might as well team up with the best team and oh, it is so wrong, it is so damn wrong on a moral aspect, bitch. But all I'm saying is, case when you have escaped your coin, the AKA fans are like super mad. And no, no, I'm, all I'm saying is, calm your tits down. Case when you have made a business move, it made sense. But I'm judging. Let me get me a damn drink. While speaking of this whole uh, AKA dead and whatever hmm, situation, right? Uh, you're gonna know that obviously AKA had a brother, Stefan, and whatnot. So Stefan took to his socials to address Nota and he's like, you know what, this is the last time. This is the first and last time, rather, that I'm addressing this bitch because he doesn't even know what he's talking about. You're going to know that, obviously, since we've learned or since we know of AKAs having died at the Wish on Florida in them Durban ride. So uh, Nota is talking like to himself to like, you know, call people out, call Abu KO, call out uh, a whole lot of other people, right? So now this guy is saying this, Stefan saying that, you know what, Nota doesn't even know what he's talking about and whatnot. And I'm sure Nota is like fucking leave it wherever he is because bitch, Bitch, Nota knows what he knows, and I don't even think he cares what uh, the Stefan brother has to say. And I only learned about Stefan like now when, when the actual Forbes man died. Hmm. You know, but I'm like, you know what, say, say your shit and whatsoever. Leave Nota, Nota has things to say, and, when, and he's not going to stop, by the way. He's just going to carry his own narrative, till through, and I'm sick of tired of talking about this story and whatnot. <gasps> Speaking of that, oh, you know that Nadia bitch, right? Nadia is like now chief mourning, her heart broken after dating AKA for two days, and now she can't live without him. She wishes they hadn't met, and wah, wah, wah. You know the whole shebang, right? So anyway, Nadia is now like back to the streets. The other day she was like, you know what? And now she can't leave the house and whatnot and whatsoever. But now we've also learning that obviously now she's back in the city, she has rent to pay, bitch. She has things to do, so she can't sit in the house and just cry the whole time. She needs to get back to the street and hustle, bitch, right? So anyway, uh, we've learned that uh, she's gonna be, or she was at Conca rather, hosting with uh, Michal Damase, MJ Light and whatnot. So I'm happy that, you know what, she's like gonna be getting her coin. And um, obviously, who's there's the dead man father, right? You know, he also spoke as like supporting Nadia, that you know what, Nadia Nakai, needs to get back to the streets and get some coin in honor and in memory of the dead man hmm. right so anyway uh, let's just move on from the dead people stories and we're gonna talk about other things so anyway uh, I thought we were done with with all of them stories right then I am thinking obviously Dallas is also under fire right because uh, he's been too silent when it comes to the whole movement uh, the justice for aka situation and whatnot yo oh. You know what? It's just a lot going on. Uh, Dallas obviously also saying that, uh, you know what, who's this? There's crazy nota that he doesn't know what he's talking about and all of that stuff. So at this point, I feel like we just, we can just move on. We can justice for AKA. And you know, 
it's real sad. It, it's, it's real, real sad. But yeah, we're done talking about uh, dead people and whatnot. Let's just move on. Anyway, let's just move on and talk about um, Paul Wabadimo. Obviously, now we've, we're also learning that um, Paul is broken up with this, um, with his Tamba Broly and whatnot. So now she's broke. She had to go back home. At the same time, she is pregnant. I'm like, oh my God, there is a lot going on. But also one thing I know about Paul Wabadimo and this man, they will do anything for a bit of clout and whatnot. So I'm taking this story with a pinch of salt because ever since, you know, they've been to the house, and whatsoever they just not they want to be in the media talking about nothing paying people so they can trend and all of that i'm like i'm not even giving a shit about this and it is what it is so if she's back home then good for she and congratulations on her pregnancy and good luck to her giving birth we don't give a fuck by the way i don't give a shit about this story i don't give a shit about the story i was talking about earlier i don't give a shit at all so it is what it is and i'm just gonna go and yeah bye babies